Um, this video is to Emmanuel Stewart. Um, Emmanuel, you have been an inspiration to my life in terms of boxing, in terms of being a trainer, a pundit, a teacher, a role model. Um, no, I never met you. I never did get to meet you, but I always felt that I was part of family anyway. The way that you were so open about your boxing knowledge um, and some of the fighters that you worked with, I was able to see you know, as fans of. Um, the first fighter that I know that you, you looked after was for me was um, Evander Holyfield. I was a big Evander Holyfield fan, Evander Holyfield fan. When Evander Holyfield lost to Riddick Bowe, um, in his first fight, um, the way you were able to um, engineer Holyfield's career back and get him, bring him back to beat Bo in the second fight was amazing. Um, another fighter, um, Lennox Lewis. Um, you had a lot of uh, faith and belief in Lennox Lewis. You believed that Lennox Lewis would become undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, even though you were training the atomic ball Oliver McCall. And uh, you trained McCall to knock Lewis out. And on that night in London, Lewis got stopped in two rounds. And uh, McCall was jumping around the ring. Who's know that a little later on, you would take Lennox Lewis under your wing and make him be one of the greatest heavyweights of the modern era. Um, but not just then. Um, the way Lewis got knocked out then. And then even when Lennox got knocked out, by Rackman, who were able to engineer Lennox to come back um, and win those fights. Um, so, another fighter, Vladimir Klitschko. I remember watching the fight, Vladimir Klitschko fighting um, Corey Sanders and getting absolutely paced by Sanders. But again, you saw something in Vladimir and you were able to use your skill and your knowledge to impart in someone like Vladimir and look at him now heavyweight champion of the world and if his brother wasn't around probably undisputed heavyweight champion of the world um, so I remember Dennis Andres uh, my dad really told me about that fight where um, Dennis Andres was getting beaten to a pulp by uh, Thomas the Hitman Hearns, your favourite fighter, and of course you've looked after for so many years. Um, and you turned Andres' uh, career around. Two-time, three-time light heavyweight champion of the world. Great stuff. Um, and other memories as well. Lewis Tyson. Uh, maybe shouting in the corner at Lennox Lewis and telling Lennox Lewis to... Uh, to take to take Tyson out because Tyson was uh, he was there for the taking and he, he didn't want you to get caught with any crazy shit I remember you saying um, yeah, it was a funny part but yet still you know your your ability the way you were able to communicate with your fighters you know most of the time you're very cool in the corner when you need to shout you did there are a lot of trainers that you see panicking all the time but you were always very cool under pressure even listening to you um, commentate a lot of uh, um, commentators are very biased but you were quite straight down the line in terms of fighters you were clear about the fighters that you enjoyed watching you were always good to give technical ideas as to how fighters could win fights or you know where they were sort of weak um, so you know I'm sure there are other fights you've trained as well, but for me, it's just a memory, it's a tribute to things that you've done as a as a trainer. And there's probably so many more things I could talk talk about. Um, you know, the fighters you've had, you've trained, um, and very shrewd as well, because um, Audrey Harrison never ever take, took on Audrey Harrison. So obviously, there was something in Manu that you saw, um, and I believe that you rejected training. Um, Audie Harrison. Um, so I think you're very sh you were very shrewd in terms of and the Crunk Gym, the amount of fighters that came to the Crunk Gym, the work you've done at the Crunk Gym to have that where it is. Michael Mora as well. God, there's so many memories. I'll probably stop recording this video soon. Um, but I just wanted to make a personal sort of tribute to you because I think you are 
for me, the greatest trainer, um, the greatest trainer ever. Um, Hall of Fame, you are the greatest for me, I think. The amount of world champions you produced, um, your legacy will go on and on. And uh, years from now, people will still talk about Emmanuel Stewart, the trainer, the coach, the mentor, the manager, the pundit, the father, you know, the fighter. Yeah, gosh. And, uh, you know, shrewd businessman. Yeah, Manny, you were the total package. The total package. Um, very good at everything you did. And uh, anybody who's got a bad word to say about you, I would say that they're jealous. I, I said, I've never met you, but from what? The way you conduct yourself, always professional. Um, and always had your best fighter's interest at heart. So, um, yeah. Thank you, Manuel. Um, it just won't be the same listening to boxing without hearing your voice or, you know, hearing your your punditry or your comments or your views on certain fights. Thank you, Emmanuel.